In this video, I'll teach you how to write a donation letter so you can start to inform donors about your efforts and ultimately encourage donations. Together, we'll go through what to include in a donation letter, donation letter examples, and best practices when writing your own letter. I'll also give you a template so you can start writing your letter as soon as possible. If you want to skip to that, the link's in the description below. So, let's get started. It's important to note, donation letters vary from one nonprofit to the next, and for each fundraising campaign you run. But the core elements should remain the same. These include, number one, the header. Include your nonprofit's name and branded logo if you have one. Number two, contact information. Include your physical address and phone number. Listing a contact person, nonprofit website, and email address, although helpful, is optional. Number three, the donor salutation. Address your donor by their preferred name. Decide whether you'd prefer a formal salutation, such as Dear Mr. and Mrs. Richard Smith, or a more informal one like Hi Rick. Four, the nonprofit story. Your story is the hook that connects your reader to your mission on an emotional level. If you don't have one, We'll deep dive into this in the next slide. Number five, the call to action. At the end of your donation letter, write a clear, direct call to action, outlining exactly what you want from your reader. Don't assume they know what you're looking for. Number six, thank and sign. Finish your letter by thanking your recipient and signing it. Ignore the temptation to sign from your organization. Instead, choose an employee, board member, or key volunteer to represent the collective whole. This helps promote the ideal human-to-human -human element you're aiming for and reinforces the personal connection between you and your donor. Most of these are pretty straightforward. The only difficult part would be the story. A good story can be the difference maker between a letter that entices readers to donate and one that ends up in the junk folder. Here's a format you should follow when writing your story. Start with the need, the solution, and end with the hero. Starting with need. The need is the problem you aim to solve. Focus on the who or what is in need. Be descriptive. Use images or statistics to paint a clearer picture. Now let's take a look at an example from the nonprofit organization Feeding America. Here is their need. Hunger in America exists for over 50 million people. That's one in six of the U.S. population, including more than one in five children. In two sentences, they describe what the problem is, how many people it impacts, and it uses statistics to focus in on the children in need. Next comes your solution. Your solution should address the need you laid out. Describe what your organization does. What is the ideal result? And how do you solve or prevent the problem mentioned earlier? Now we'll use the example from Feeding America. Their solution is, we work to get nourishing food from farmers, manufacturers, and retailers to people in need. At the same time, we seek to help the people we serve to build a path to a brighter, food-secure future. Now, in this example, you can see how they solve the problem with hunger and how they hope to prevent it in the future with a food-secure future. Finally comes your hero. Every story needs a hero, someone who makes the change happen. Yes, your nonprofit is doing much of the work, but it's only possible with your donor's support. Make your donor the hero of the story by mentioning how they are impacting change. Let's go back again to the previous example. When you join Feeding America as a monthly donor, your gift creates a reliable source of funding to help provide meals to families facing hunger. Every dollar you give can provide at least 10 meals to families in need through the Feeding America network of food banks. This is how you should position your reader. They should be the ones to enable change. In the example, the reader knows how far their dollar will go in aiding the cause. Now that was one example, and your story can look different in many ways, so get creative. Let's put it all together and look at one more example from the World Wildlife Fund. This is a donation letter in the form of an email. Now pause here and see if you can spot their need, solution, and hero. In this email, the header image and the first paragraph are used to provide the reader with context about snow leopards. Now this helps set up the need, which is found on the next paragraph. The solution can be found in the final paragraph. 
They keep it at a high level, and they provide more details through links. That way, you can keep the message short and improve the chances that the whole email gets read. This paragraph also does a good job of positioning the reader as the hero. It mentions the reader by name and lets them know that they are in a position to make change. Here's another donation request, this time for elephants. Now again, notice how the header image and the first paragraph help to bring the problem to the forefront. Then they provide the solution through a link, keeping the message short. And the final paragraph lists the impacts the reader can have on the situation and puts them as the enabler for change. For their call to action, they don't use the conventional donate button. Instead, their button says, yes, I want to protect nature. And this makes the reader focus on the long-term goal, which is where the focus should be. Lastly, they sign off the email with an image of the sender, creating a more human-to-human -human interaction. They use the same sender consistently, so over time, readers become more familiar and build a personal connection. Donating becomes a lot easier when it feels like you're helping out someone you can trust. Well, we're at the end of the video, but before you start writing, here are some key takeaways to keep in mind. Number one, make it friendly. Write the letter as if you were speaking with a friend. Avoid internal lingo and, and nonprofit jargon. If it's taking too long, you're probably thinking too much. Number two, make it authentic. Use a real signature from someone of importance in the organization and whom people will recognize. Include headshots to give it more of a human touch. Number three, give options. Offer alternatives to money donation. Donating their time through volunteering or sharing your message on social media can go a long way. Number four, make it easy. After reading your letter, potential donors should know exactly how they can contribute to your cause. If your call to action is a button, make it large and have it stand out. Number five, track your data. Record response rates from your donors. This can help you improve your letters and timing for campaigns down the road. There are tons of email automation tools like MailChimp or Giving Mail that will help you with this, but if you're looking for a free one, I would suggest Wild Apricot. I included a link to start along with some donation letter templates in the description below. Thanks for watching, and if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe.